How convenient! My video cut off when I said I was posting two videos today. Ah, here we are, part two. Uh, before I jump in, if you didn't hear part one, there's part one to this. I'm talking about uh, chart signatures in the birth chart and just what you can experience um, based on different planetary energies and just the likelihood of that. Um, make sure that you are subscribed though if you didn't see the first vid if you're not already subscribed hit the like button on this vid if it brings you any if it brings, if it brings you any value if it brings you brought you any value by the end of it because it helps the channel grow and get more people in our community here uh, and last but not least if you want to take the wisdom drops astrology course then you check out that link down below and it gives you some the step to how to get in touch with me there okay so, um, as I was saying, I think it's like you were talking about you, <laughs> my consciousness of tiredness that is you, the audience. Uh, and we're talking about uh, something related to the moon and the sun with those signature aspects and looking at conjunctions as well as the ascendant. But I also want to bring up um, anything engaging Venus by like inter anything interesting and Mercury because... Uh, and you know what, it can even go into Mars. Really, all of the planets can be activated in these type of conversations, but it has to do largely more so with like what are your chart houses that are really most significant. And those three houses that are most significant are going to be the houses that belong to the signs that you are. So if you are a Capricorn sun, Capricorn is your first house. That's very important for anybody, but especially a moon in Capricorn in the first house or a Capricorn sun okay in the first house you see how that extrapolates out of that it's like from the sun you are the first house of that so anyway that's like just a digression but you know I would start looking into that sort of thing because it's gonna help you it's gonna ultimately help you um, become a better astrologer if you're into that sort of thing and just look at how these planets communicate that's how we can divinely you know intuit and guide ourselves we can figure out how these planets communicate. What are the messages that the planets are sending to us right now and on Earth? That's a great question. I don't know why I just got it, but it's a great question. All right, I think I'm meant to leave you with that. With that said, my friend, through next time. Until next time, thank you for the support, and may the stars be with you. Peace.